All right, welcome back to Realism Overhaul. N9 here, and today we're going to be sending a probe to the moon. This first rocket you see here is the same design as you've seen in previous episodes, uh, just a little bit modified in order to give us the amount of delta V that we need in order to land on the moon. And unfortunately, with this first launch, uh, I end up having an engine failure on the AJ-10 stage, and I actually could not determine uh, the reasoning why that happened, other than it's just test flight being test flight, and that's a mod that causes um, engine failures and such. Yeah, right here it cuts out, and <laughs> you'll see on the map we didn't even get close. So uh, after that, I designed an entirely new rocket, and this rocket, instead of a soft landing on the moon's surface, it is designed to just crash into the surface. So we didn't have to uh, we didn't have to care about having enough delta V to slow us down once we get to the moon because we're just going to slam into it. And I designed it this way because I wanted to find out about what velocity we'd be traveling at once we get to the moon if we have a, like a direct home and transfer right to the surface, no other corrections needed, no orbiting the moon first, just directly there. And here we have the launch of this rocket. And notice I have some cameras on there. And that was designed just to sort of dismay the, the flat earth movement that's been going on with several Kerbals. Uh, there's a few outside of the space center protesting our adventure towards space. They think it's a waste of money because they think space isn't there. And I'm trying to dismay them as much as I can. Uh, you'll notice actually, uh, I think it was either the left or the right booster, one of them didn't quite separate properly, and it, I think it might be the cause of this slight oscillation here, but it doesn't affect our trajectory in any way. Now this rocket is a much simpler design than the previous rockets I've built. It's only two, well, maybe two and a half stages, considering the boosters on the side from the first stage, but it's a very simple design. Uh, one stage to get us into, into orbit, or very close to it in this case, uh, because this upper stage, you can see here an apogee kick just to put us in orbit. And then this stage will take us all the way to the moon and leave us to smash into the surface. For science, of course. See here we are just firing our engine a few last times to get us a close approach here. On our way, and you can see the velocity in the bottom left above the nav ball. And that's what I wanted to know. And after the successful impact with the moon surface, I designed an entirely new rocket based upon the first rocket's design. And you'll see here it has a lot of structural instability, a lot of oscillation going on. But luckily, as time went on, it's stabled out and we were able to have a successful launch and i believe the design of this rocket was to capture in orbit around the moon and then descend to sort of control uh where i could land but when i got here uh, apparently uh there was an engine failure but it wasn't the usual engine failure it was due to the type of tank i used now this the aj-10 needs a pressurized tank and there were two available in the editor. One is the service module, and the other is the fuselage. Uh, the fuselage being slightly uh, heavier. And I figured maybe the fuselage is more reliable that way. But it turns out that's why it failed. It needed service module instead of fuselage. So I quick changed that. And also, you'll notice here the, the sort of strange lines on my trajectory, and this is the mod Principia. I absolutely love this mod, it adds n-body physics, which means it's no longer just a sphere of influence where one body is affecting your gravity, all of them are affecting it at the same time. And what you saw there was me getting close to the moon and our trajectory to land. Uh, but unfortunately, Principia does two things which I did not like. One, it's a lot more taxing on my computer. And two, it actually changed the inclination of the moon relative to the Earth. It changed it so that the closest relative inclination I got was 9 degrees instead of 0.25. And that caused me to use a thousand meters per second more delta V 
than I needed to without Principia. And so, for the stability of my game's sake, uh, I, I only installed Principia for that one launch to see what it would be like. What you see here is the rocket that makes it all the way, so I'll let you guys watch. All right, the rocket is officially in orbit, and that, I believe that's the second stage, used all of its fuel and it pretty much circularized. I was pretty happy with that. Now here we have a plane change, and then we're gonna have a home and transfer to the moon as well. We're gonna impact with the surface according to our trajectory. And here we are on our way. We've seen this shot before. I absolutely love it. I love looking back at the Earth as it slowly gets smaller and smaller. As we get closer to the moon's surface, we kick in our engines to slow us down. I'm actually using RCS to slow down a little bit too, but I wanted to keep enough in order to use the engine a few more times. We're gonna kill our velocity right here, and this maneuver here is called the flail. You'll see why. <laughs> Kinda left us on a spin like this. Uh, luckily, centrifugal force meant that the fuel remained stable, constantly pushing towards the engine, so I was able to ignite it right here to straighten us out. And then use a tiny little bit of RCS to straighten this out even more. And ah, you notice in the top right, just a sliver of HTP. And that's the RCS of this stage. And that is just enough to ignite the engine one last time. Just slows down ever so slightly before the probe is all on its own to slow down. And right there. We detach. And there's like a little over a second delay too. Which kind of freaked me out at first. I thought staging failed and then a second later it ignited and that's when I realized, you know, we're this far from the moon, of course. Uh, the engines on the probe itself can relight themselves as much as they need. Both the RCS and the engine are using hydrazine. And here I'm trying to kill horizontal velocity as well as vertical velocity, because I notice I'm moving across the surface, I'm not just going straight down, and I think I slowed it down enough. And touchdown! We did it, and the probe's intact. 
and still has a connection to the earth as well. So I can get all these science experiments transmitted back to earth so we can collect the data from the surface of the moon. Now we know that the surface is stable enough to land on. Uh, what sort of shenanigans can we get into next? That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out. What did he